Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. We have some coaching news, and some of this has been kind of surprising to say the least. There's only two current vacancies left right now. The Seattle Seahawks, where Dan Quinn is at his second interview. Today, the rumor was that he'd be part of a package deal with Chip Kelly being his offensive coordinator and the commanders with the left hand up. The interesting one is, and this just broke a few minutes ago, is that Raheem Morris is going to be hired as the Falcons head coach. And where this gets to be interesting is uh, Mike Vrabel thought or most people thought Mike Rabel was going to be the head coach there, but apparently was asked who he was going to have for offensive coordinator. And he said, Arthur Smith, the guy they just fired from being the head coach. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't know how you do that one. I, I, I honestly don't know how you make that mistake. How the hell do you go and have an interview to be the head coach? And you say the guy you want to hire as your offensive coordinator is the guy they just fired being the head coach. So Raheem Morris gets the head coaching job there. Uh, interestingly enough, this is where um, Get Up This Morning, of course, said that, that uh, Dak Prescott should go in and demand a trade to go to Atlanta. Be that as it may, I think actually they may have. This is one of those crazy things that I realize. You know, I I, I do a lot of video. I do a lot of videos, and from time to time, I feel like the producers may be watching some of us on YouTube here, because last night I was talking about not only Dak Prescott, but I said that Dak Prescott, and I believe I even went like this, boom should kick in the door of Jerry and Stephen Jones along with Mike McCarthy and say, get me some help. Get me some help. You know, you're Mike McCarthy. You should say, if you're not going to give me help, you're going to fire me at the end of the year because we don't have enough talent. Knowing that nobody repeats in our division, then fire me now. You know, if you're Dak Prescott, listen, <laughs> you don't want to get me help or anything? Fine. Just pay me my damn money and let me go someplace else. I, I think I said that last night at my fireside chat. And then today we hear this whole thing, and it's probably just a coincidence on ESPN that uh, Dak Prescott should demand a trade. Okay. All right. Be that as it may, Falcons hire Raheem Morris. Panthers hire Dave Canlis. Cannels. Okay. Sorry, I don't really know who he is. Uh, the Patriots, of course, had the succession plan in hire Jared Mayo. Um, Raiders brought back Antonio Pierce, which I think was a great hire. And the Titans hired Brian Callahan. So there you have it. Now, here's where it's interesting because we know that Bill Belichick interviewed not once but twice for the Atlanta Falcons. And at the moment, how crazy is it that you may have Pete Carroll, Bill Belichick, and Mike Vrabel without head coaching jobs? Yeah. And so looking around here with Mike Vrabel, he was, you know, people or, or some people thought, you know, hey, he'd be great in Green Bay as their defensive coordinator. Um, but they've kind of ruled that situation out. Now, Al Harris is kind of trending right now because a lot of the Green Bay Packers, at least on Twitter, are saying bring back Al Harris to be a young defensive coordinator. If if Dan Quinn is hired in Seattle and the Cowboys lose Dan Quinn, some people believe that Joe Witt would go with Dan Quinn. Do the Cowboys hire Al Harris and try and keep consistency? Or do they look outside and say to somebody like Mike Rabel, come in and coach for a year or two? You know, we, we can be that ship just like New England used to have to get you back to being a head coach. You can even say, you know, if uh, Mike McCarthy fails, you could be the next guy in line. Interesting take. 
we'll see if it happens or if anything happens or what's going to happen. So I'm surprised that the head coaching train is filling up real, real quick. And I still can't believe Bill Belichick is going to be unemployed. So there you have it. Who will be the defensive coordinator this year for the Dallas Cowboys? Don't know. Um, Do know that the Eagles seemingly, seemingly are doing hires that are about getting back at the Cowboys. Vic Fangio, Philly 500, is excited as can be about Vic Fangio going to Philadelphia to be the defensive coordinator and swears their defense is back. Well, the thing about their defense, um, don't get me wrong, he is definitely a better coordinator than um, who just left. But the problem for them is, similar problem that we have, is they need linebackers bad. Their linebacking core is terrible, and their defensive backfield is overpaid and underperforming. So they have to do a complete overhaul on that defense. Um, I'm going to say that if Diggs is back healthy next year, um, I think Stephon Gilmore may be back um, next year as well. That your secondary is really good. Your defensive line, you need some more help. You've got some players that will be exiting the building. Um but you are in better shape on defense than the Eagles are. Um, without a doubt, we need linebackers, and we need them bad. Um, one other thing, too, on the coaching train, here's where it's interesting, um, is Kellen Moore. Originally, teams were asking about uh, speaking with Kellen Moore, but the Chargers were basically, no. So... Um, Kellen Moore, now that Jim Harbaugh is hired, they're allowing him to talk to people, and the Eagles are interested in Kellen Moore along with the Cleveland Browns. And you have to think that if Kellen Moore is hired by the Eagles, that's more intel for the Eagles to try and get on the Dallas Cowboys. And Vic Fangio supposedly has been the guru that's helped come up with the defenses to slow down Dak Prescott. Uh, I dare say that Dak Prescott's had a pretty good season, and um, he's going to need to do a whole lot more work on there. So we'll see. And looking at looking it up here, uh, Kellen Moore's interview with the Eagles today as their offensive coordinator, poor sources. And he is considered one of the top play-calling candidates available. So there's that. I'm Mark Holmes, and all kinds of things are happening, even though it's the offseason for the Cowboys. Peace out.